Hi everyone, let's talk about Exit the Game. I've got two of the three that are available. There is also, is it the Secret Lab? It's a something lab that I haven't played, but I have played both of these. I actually got sent the Pharaoh's Tomb. So thanks very much to Leslie and Cosmos for sending me that. And as soon as we'd finished it, I went out and got hold of you know, the other one that was available to me. And I definitely want to try the third one. But what are these? These are a different take on an escape game, you know, an escape room game. We did you know, unlock a few weeks ago and liked parts of that, didn't like other parts of it. But uh, overall, it was very good. This is a different, a different take on it, certainly. It's not just the deck of cards, although that is an important part of it. In a game of Exit, and this is on the back of the box, so I don't think it's a spoiler, you will get a book of some variety. You will get the instructions that give you your setting. The book has a lot of puzzles and various cryptic things that don't really make very much sense at the start of the game. You get this decoder ring that is a very cool way of uh, checking that you're right. It doesn't use it, you unlock, you know, takes all of that out by using an app. This has this decoder ring and then a nice system of cards. You will, you know, you'll, you'll try and put your answer into the ring. You'll find a card, it will either say no way or it will say, well, maybe you're right. Which puzzle are you trying to do? And then, you know, you go to that card. It's got a very nice, you know, analog way of checking if you've got the right answer. That's, you know, never, never gave us, never, never steered us wrong, really. You will have a set amount of puzzles and they all come in this deck of cards. You know, as I said, the, the book that you get, the mystery book, comes with you know some puzzles and various things in there but along the way you will be revealing these uh, these riddle cards and you know they they could be they could be more locations they could be more puzzles they could be uh, an extra dimension to a puzzle that you just can't crack you know it's it's uh, it's been it's been quite different in both of these games uh, the the so the first one we played was the pharaoh's tomb and I, you know, I can say straight right from the beginning, we found it very, very difficult. Maybe it's because we were coming from Unlock, and we you know we had, uh, you know, that fresh in our minds. But it was, it, it definitely made us think in a different way. You know, all of the puzzles as well have got a set of three cards to them that will give you a first hint, a second hint, and then if you still can't get it, it will just tell you the answer. So you know, all, when you go for a hint. It will, you know, some, sometimes the first hint will tell you something that you already know, but uh, it, it can tell you which things you should have to be able to do the puzzle, which is really nice because, you know, sometimes it's not you, it's that you are just missing something and you need to go back and, you know, try and work out what you haven't done yet. So it's got a really nice hint system, which we used quite a bit in the start of The Pharaoh's Tomb. But as we were, you know, getting used to it, we, you know, you, we're getting into it and we were getting better at these puzzles. Fast forward to the abandoned cabin, which we did later. We, the, the, we were just steaming ahead for, for a long, long time. We did eventually, the game did eventually crack down on us and we had to give in and uh, go for some hints, but we did far, far better in the abandoned cabin. And that may be down to, you know, just getting into the right mindset for this, realizing how the game works. You know, I re realize that I have to be very vague about this. That's why there isn't a playthrough for this at all. There's no tutorial in Exit. And I thought about maybe doing a playthrough of showing you the first puzzle of one of them, but I don't want to do that because that's still quite a big chunk of the game. And it's a one and done thing. And you know, there's only three. I don't want to spoil any part of these for anyone. I want, you know, if, if you're at all interested in these, experience the whole things yourselves. So yeah, it may be that this was easier or it may be I think anyway, that it's just that we were getting used to how the game goes. So based on the two that we've played so far, we love the exit system, you know, the, the concept of you're put in this situation, you're told what the story is in the instructions, and then you are kind of just left to explore this book, which isn't just, you know, here's a puzzle, here's a puzzle, here's a puzzle. You, you do get some inkling of what that is because you need to start somewhere, but a lot of the pages will not make any sense until later. And it has got that really satisfying, you know, it's full of those satisfying moments where these things click into place and 
maybe you get one part of it and you go, well, I know how to do that. We just need to open something else to find the other parts to finish this puzzle. I, I can already see it in my head how we're supposed to do this. But others, and this may be why it took a game to get into the right mindset, there are definitely kinds of puzzles in these games that need you to think in a different way, that make you think outside the box. And if uh, Unlock had a little bit of this, and it definitely takes some of the things that were in there a lot further, and that may be why it was strange to get used to at first, because you just wouldn't even think of some of the things in these puzzles as a possibility. And I know it's really annoying to be speaking about these in these vague terms. I'm really desperately trying to articulate it in a way that you know, would uh, not spoil any of the puzzles, but that's very hard because the things that make them unique are the way that they're solved. Now it does say on the back of the box that this game can only be played once because you mark up, fold and tear the game materials. Now it's true that you can only play it once because once you know what the puzzles are, there's no point playing it again, but the the tearing things up and marking them that's not in in the experience of these two games it's not true there have been times where it would have been easier if we'd done that it would have been a lot easier to just draw on a card or you know fold up something to you know solve the puzzle a lot faster but we didn't find it you know took a lot of time you know when when i'd uh, i'd seen a couple of things mentioned about it i thought maybe we'll have to you know copy something maybe we'll have to you know photocopy something but you know these days i, I realized that you can take a picture on your phone and you know there's something built into your phone where you can draw on the thing that you just took a photo of that's what we did for the things that we were supposed to mark up so you know our, our, both of these have been played all the way through and are perfectly you know ready that, that they're as they came for someone to you know to play again brand new. So really, I said I've only played two of these three, but absolutely love this system. And you know, we, we enjoyed Unlock, nothing against that, but we definitely, definitely prefer this. This has got, you know, all of the puzzly things that I liked in Unlock, but that is the main focus of this. There isn't really, I don't know if there is at all anything where you're, tr you're you know, staring for hidden objects and things. That's, that's another part of Unlock. But Exit is purely focused on the puzzles and also it's it's also got uh you know not not a huge amount of theme but it's it definitely gives you a a definite setting and you know a reason that you're there and a, and are trying to get out uh but definitely I I'm desperate to play the the third one in the series and I know that there are more planned you know I think I think there's uh, kind of teaser cards in the packs that tell you you know more are coming out Hopefully they come out soon because uh, these came out in uh, October at Essen, I think, in German, and they're just coming out now in England. They're available, you know, anywhere that gets Cosmos products. Uh, but yeah, really, really, really enjoyed these. Can't wait to play the third one, and desperate for those for more to come out. You know, Inca, Inca and Marcus Brand are the designers of great things. You know, they designed Murano and Village, and you know, great Euro games that I love anyway, and. Uh, knock mal the the dice game that i did uh, a few weeks ago and now there's just you know a whole you know another dimension to the the things that they've made that i i love you know exit the game if you are looking for an escape room experience i would definitely recommend you try one of the exit games and that's exit the game so thanks everyone for watching and i'll see you for the next game bye